What's going on y'all? Welcome to the fridge. Back here for another Beer Slayer review. Today on the menu I got a uh, Yingling Lager and uh, Yingling Black and Tan. One of which I've had numerous times. It's kind of a little treat that I like to get. A uh, little fat Yingling, one of the oldest breweries, the oldest brewery in the United States. Uh, started up in the Northeast. I got another brewery down somewhere in Florida. It's very hard to get these here in Texas, but whenever we do get them, it's a little treat. Ah, they taste so good. I can't, I can't even wait to open that one. Uh, one I haven't tried yet. This guy's been sitting in the fridge for a little longer than I'd like to admit because I've been waiting to do this video. I wanted y'all to get my initial reaction on the black and tan. I've heard a lot of great things. It's got the Yingling name, so I don't expect anything bad to happen. Uh, Without further ado, let's crack these bad boys open. Uh, I'm gonna start with the tried and true, the Yingling Lager. Mm, that sounds like straight up America is what that sounds like. Foam's coming right out of the top. It gives itself head. I don't know if y'all can see that through the bottle, but it gives itself about a two inch head. Oh man. Mm. It doesn't compare to anything. It's, uh, it's one of the best loggers I've ever had. Uh, Budweiser and all them, they call themselves loggers. And uh, I know why some people call them a cheap beer. You go up in the Northeast, like Philadelphia area or something, and you tell them you want a lager, this is where they're pouring right out of the tap. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. Um, if you like beer, you're going to like this, this, this beer, period. You know, I haven't met one person that doesn't like it. Uh, it's one of my favorites. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's let's crack this black and tan. I wanna I wanna see uh, no not no fizziness, not like the Yingling. It doesn't kind of fizz up like you would, you know. Now I've had a black and tan. I don't know if y'all know what a black and tan is, but uh, to me, it's like a Guinness on top of a light. You know, you get it in a uh, in a glass like this, and it'll be Guinness sitting on top, and your light beer sitting on the bottom. Uh, that's what I've always called a black and tan. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, let's give this guy. It's not too much different smell than the Yingling. Um, it just smells like a good lager. Let's. Uh, definitely a different note to it. It tastes like uh, tastes like it's been aged a little bit more or something. I, I don't know the science behind it. Uh, maybe they kind of. Porter and premium beer, that's what it's called. And it is premium, let me tell you. All right. Oh, yeah, that's real good. That's got a different taste to it. It's got like a little, I don't like to call it a coffee taste, but that's what I'm going to call it is a coffee taste because I have nothing else to compare it to. So I got a couple of different glasses right here. Let's see how these bad boys pour out. Not that we need them. We're already drinking out of glass bottles, but every once in a while it's nice to see the color of the beer. So right here off the bat, you notice that Yingling has just a beautiful amber. Uh, it's got some good, good bubbling going on to it. Now you you smell it, and it it doesn't smell skunky, but it it's definitely different than a Coors Light smell, or a or a Michelob Ultra smell. Uh, smells a lot better than a pickle beer though. It smells like. Smells like fresh beer. I could see myself drinking this bad boy with a nice little, you know, porterhouse steak sitting in front of me. Uh, backyard barbecuing. Fishing, maybe. I don't know. I like a little lighter beer whenever I'm fishing. Uh, definitely going to be drinking a six-pack of these and filling it. It's good beer. It's a real good beer. If you've never tried the Yingling, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I've never told anyone to try it, and they hated it. Let's see what the black and tan looks like. Oh, definitely a little bit more, uh, definitely a difference there. And as you notice, it definitely kind of pours out like a stout. I definitely think this thing probably has a little bit higher, higher alcohol content. It's got that real coffee, 
look to it. You should be drinking one of these bad boys out of like the little nitro glasses. Man. Pouring it in this glass, you get a lot more flavor. A lot more flavor. Because it hits your nose and everything. This guy... I feel like I should be eating lobster tail right now. It just tastes so sophisticated. It's like a fine, fine wine, but it's beer. A little oakiness, maybe? Maybe a little oakiness? I don't know. Happiness, definitely. That's happiness in the glass is what that is. Uh, this guy I'm going to pair with a steak. This guy I'm going to pair with my hamburgers. You know what I'm saying? This is like... Hey, I'm a beer. Don't put a little suit and tie on for you. And this is just your average Joe backyard barbecue. Come take a sip of me and enjoy me. This guy, probably two glasses of this, you're fine. This guy's probably a six packing up. So, um, I mean, let me know what y'all think. Uh, check out my Instagram. It's just Beer Slayer Review. Same thing with the Facebook. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Let me know in the comments. You got a beer you want me to try? You got a little mixed drink you want me to try? Uh, I'm willing to try anything, review it, uh, give you my, my personal opinion. But on these guys, I'm going to finish this one first, and I'm going to go after that guy later. Uh, we'll see you on the next review.